Dilshad in Cannock in Staffordshire, where the owners say that they can produce the hottest curry in the Next world. Take on the 24 ounce burger challenge, must be mad. Right, this is it, 50 ounce steak. Habanero chicken challenge. The monster dog challenge. One and a half kilos of meat over a metre long, let's say. Desperate Dan, KFI challenge at the famous Mario Walks in Tipton. The trash can challenge. The L double A challenge. Buzzy. Eat it or breakfast challenge. I'm pretty scared at the moment. There's got feelings of trepidation and, and fear going through my mind. Having to wear gas masks in order to prepare this curry. <laughs> Here goes my throat. Jesus Christ. No, I'm alright, thanks. I think that'll be enough. Thank you very much. Good luck. Are we uh, officially timing? Wow. Okay, so my pie is here. I've got my knife and fork, my long hammer. I'm ready to go. Play and you give them the number. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be okay? Do you want me to get you a drink? You've got a fork. <laughs> yes, of course. Thank you very much. I'm going to do it, Steve. Oh my god. Enjoy. <laughs> so, anything else we can get you? You are joking. <laughs> it's apparently as bad as being sprayed with tear gas in the mouth. So, have you got a strategy? Just drink them last. <laughs> and then jump those. <laughs> Sorry, I've just ruined your shot. Difficult to sort of eat and talk at the same time because I was uh, well educated by my mother. Lovely, good stuff. He's sweaty. He yeah, took the top off. Looks like you mean business, Rob. Yeah. It's... It's quite pungent. It stings my nostrils. Well, I've got 35 minutes to go, and I'm well over halfway through. I'm hopeful. Don't know whether I'm actually going to do it, but with 35 minutes, I've got... a quarter and maybe like an eighth left to eat, and two bowls of chips. I'm halfway through. Um, halfway through the steak, I haven't even touched the chips, and a couple of onion rings, and I'm struggling. I'm beginning to think that this was a mistake. I think just hurt. It's boiling there. This restaurant is going to become like the hottest place on earth. It's hotter than the sun. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the onion reels. Oh, yeah. I'm nearly there, it's so close, it's so far. I don't know if I can do this, I'm feeling a bit woozy. The most, one single person has it. He's just over all of You know in the, in the sixth Harry Potter book, when Dumbledore is trying to destroy Voldemort's Horcrux, and he has to keep drinking this thing that he knows is killing him, it's like that. Tony, are you hiding your Horcrux in here? Is there some evil wizard at the bottom of this? So I decided to take the operation outside. It's getting a bit warm in there. I think I might stand a bit better of a chance out here. Don't know how likely it is though. Let's battle through. But it's just... <laughs> It's not, looking, it's not looking great in terms of trying to finish it. I think. I'm going to give up soon. Rob College did not have any fans. I have fans. So where are we at then, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, done. It don't look very well. <laughs> <laughs> This was Dan versus food, and regrettably, food won. And so, with 10 minutes to go, I have finagled, I feel like, 
disappointed in myself, but that if I eat any more, I'm probably going to have it all come back up. So that's it. That's my food versus uh, me, and food has won. I'm done. It's beat me. And that's it. Time up. I mean, I got through barely three. They're just so hot. Real tears, these are. I need to have a drink now. That's amazing. I need, I just. <laughs> Yeah, okay, really. you can yeah, it's just it's just too big, believe it or not. That's probably why it's called a challenge. And probably why it's 30 quid. But yeah, no, I've given it um I gave it my best. I'm I'm hurting a lot inside now. But I've tried and I can't do any more than try. God loves a try. I'm done. Burrito one, Dave Callahan nil. Uh, food has won. And I have most definitely been beaten by it. I have given it a big fat fail, like the 24 other people who've tried it before me. As yet, no one is yet to be able to defeat this breakfast, and it will take some doing to be able to conquer what is, I think, the toughest challenge in food in this country. I've got my t-shirt, I've got a mouth that's on fire. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm going for a pint of milk. <laughs>